It's all the way on. You can see this light, very light stream. So we're gonna try and fix that. This is a safety first. Okay, so I took the four screws out of the bottom. You can pretty clear to see where the four screws were. Um, then it comes apart. And that's done by just gripping the blue and the white and kind of twisting them and it just kind of pops up. Just like I said, you just pull it apart. Anyways, um, here's the part that we're going after. It's right here. We're going to take these two screws out and then there's a piece underneath there that looks just like this. And we are going to replace that part and solder it onto the board. See if a new one in place now. So I just did two solder connections right here. I'll zoom in on those. So what I did was I just cut the old wires off and soldered right onto them because I did not want to pull the whole board up and redo it, you know, properly. So because this is just to figure out if it's is the problem. All right, we're all plugged in and ready to go. Hey, look at that. Got a lot more mist coming out now. It's working like it's supposed to. So here, I took the ultrasonic disc that came in the unit. Um, and I just, it's just clamped so that I can get a ohm reading on it. <clears throat> the one that came with it looks like it's uh, coming out at about 1.3. And I don't have a manual or anything for this. I don't know what it's supposed to be. But we're going to compare it to the brand new ones that we just got from Amazon. Okay, so now we've got the brand new one from Amazon in there, and it comes out at 0.2. So, a pretty large difference. Um, I guess it's supposed to be at around 0.2 because that certainly seems to work a lot better than the original one did.